Welcome to Big Tony's, Big Tony's Garage and Metalworks. In today's video, we are going to be working on the bumper filler piece that goes in between the uh, bumper and the grill, okay? So I found out that I had put the piece in when I first worked on this car back in, I don't know, like five or six years ago. I bought the that goes in the middle and I found out why it cracked. The reason why it cracked was because it didn't have uh, the actual steel uh, reinforcement, that's what you call it. And I'll put a picture right there. There's a metal piece that goes in the bottom. And I've talked in other videos uh, about me getting the piece. I finally ordered it. And so I'm gonna be putting it in. I'm gonna be putting it in today. I'm attaching this video that you're seeing right now to the other videos that I put a couple weeks ago. Uh, Chewie's real excited. He can't wait for me to get this done. So you can ride in the Nova. Right, Chewie? Yeah, good boy. This video will finalize that project, basically, which is putting the front end piece on that car. Thank you for watching. All right, boys and girls, so you can see here's the balance right here that's cracked. It's cracked right here, all right? And it kind of throws off the whole line in the bottom. Like I said, it's not a big deal. You know, it doesn't, you, you can't tell that much, you know, from far away, but it's just something that kind of bothers me, you know, like a, kind of like a mosquito bite that you scratch and won't go away. Kind of like a, like a, you know, yeah, yeah, like a scratch that you can't get to, you know, that, that kind of feeling. So uh, my plan is to finally be able to get to that scratch and uh, remove that. I'm going to see if I could get into taking it off, but no, I, I have to take it off because it comes all the way this way. And if there's another way, I just don't know, okay? So you guys might know a different way of how to get to it. I have a feeling I have to uh, just take off this back. This, I don't, I don't remember how many bolts it has to take off this bumper. Should be easy to take off. I'm gonna lay something here on the floor so that it doesn't get all scratched up. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do it, okay? So I'll bring you back in a little bit. All right, as you can see, this is the 68 to 72 Novas. That's the company right there, and it's a certified GM restoration part. <laughs> and it's been sitting, like I said, for a long time. As you could tell, how dirty the box is. It's been sitting on the rafters in my garage. So the plan is to, you know, it just makes it look a lot nicer, in my opinion. You know, uh, here's here's the other crank. Uh, I had a, this camshaft before uh, and that's in an engine that I took apart and I gave to my neighbor that picks up metal believe it or not and I had cracked the block already so you know it's basically a giant you know paperweight after that uh, the one in the and the 327 is a little different I still haven't found the, uh, the actual codes on it I know they're somewhere but I haven't found them yet but yeah, again, uh, this bumper is brand new in the sense I got it, I don't know, when I fixed up the car about five years ago. It's just a little dirty, but I'm kind of surprised there being a, a, you know, Chinese bumper that, you know, once I clean this up, it looks brand spanking new. And, you know, I haven't really be, been leaving the car out. I've been, you know, storing it in the garage. Even when I was driving it, I would have it covered up and you know really taking care of it what i'm gonna do is oh and then i got this aftermarket balance and i think it looks cool it looks makes the car look a lot sportier uh, i actually have smashed it up i you have to be careful with any car that you have that even though the car is not low it used to sit lower like two and a half inches lower i had some drop spindles on it and the ride was not very very good so when i switched over i put back the original factory spindles and i just Got that QA1 and uh, suspension uh, coilover, so I was able to lower the car that way better. But before I did that, I was uh, I was going to AutoZone and I went into the parking spot and I hit the little you know barrier cement thing that they have to stop you from going over the sidewalk, and I smashed this up. And you know back then I would have just thrown it out and you know called my losses and got another one, but. You know, due to my, you know, recently acquired metal skills, I just basically, you know, put it back into shape again. 
and I, you know, was able to make it look cool again. It's not perfect, but it's cool enough for what I like, you know. So I'm gonna bring you back, and I'm gonna take that balance out, and then I'll show you uh, what I'm doing. Okay. All right, boys and girls, I'm here under the Nova. I'm gonna shine a little bit of light right there, maybe you could see. So you gotta loosen that bolt right there, and you have to loosen that bolt on top, this one right here that's kind of blurry. So this one, right, and then that one. And that kind of branches off into two sections. It's a little hard to see, I apologize, but I'm here under the car, but if you loosen those two bolts, like I said, that one right there, right, that one, and then if you loosen this one as well on both sides, you can loosen this front bumper, okay? Hello, y'all. Uh, what I have to do, and maybe you guys don't have this, but I have to take this screw out right now, temporarily, and the one all the way over there, so I could be able to push this down just a little enough that I could put the uh, rent, the uh, the ratchet in here, and I could loosen up these two bolts. I'm not gonna take the whole thing off because I'm not removing the bumper. I just need space in order for me to fit this you know piece right here that's broken as you can see right there so I'm gonna get that piece right there in I try to fix it I put some tape duct tape but that didn't work and you know it, look, it looks funny you know it's not a big huge deal but this whole front bumper that you see right here is gonna tilt like this it's gonna tilt up like this down enough for me to be able to I think I have to take this uh, headlight bezel off and the one on the other side possibly even take the grill off I don't remember to be honest that's an aftermarket grill I have the original one in the garage uh, but anyways that's what I'm doing right now okay so stay tuned all right as you can see boys and girls I already uh, loosened the bolts I pulled the bumper out as much as I could and as you can see it's it was cracked in other areas from that impact it was a small tiny impact but somehow I don't know how I ended up not even denting the bumper or the grill but it did crack that. It, it might have been already been cracked, as I can see right there from the, but the bolt, the bumpers was, you know, basically pulled down pretty tight. So the next step is we have to remove these, these bezels on both sides. And then I think I had to take this uh, piece of this grill off. I'm gonna take the, you know, these screws out, these four screws, one right here, two right here, and one right here, so four. And then somehow I think I have to, uh, you know what? Now I remember this grill has some bolts down here and I'll take this grill off and I'll show you. And this is what gets attached to this piece right here. Okay, so I have to pull the whole thing out regardless. Okay, so that's the next step. I was able to take that side off of that lower balance and this side off, I twisted it that way. Uh, and then, you know, I'm gonna be, once I put that other piece in, which is in this box and I'll open it right now as a matter of fact, let me see, let me get something sharp. But it doesn't take that much. I mean, it just takes a little bit of uh, finagling back and forth. And, you know, just be patient. Good thing is that this car, the, the bolts are really easy to come off. I didn't have to use any uh, lubricating spray because I have the uh, WD-40 uh, was not needed for this one, believe it or not. So I got my Mexican knife here from Mexico. And I'm ready to slice this up, okay? So I'm gonna go right here on top. I'll bring you back, let me bring you back. Okay, hold on. All right, so I'm not happy with this because that piece over there that I had gotten before, that one was already black. And I guess this is the right color is um, that I have heard that uh, when you put these balances in, they didn't paint them in the factory. But I'm not going for the factory look. I'm going to have to paint this first. It's a little bit of a bummer because I'm going to have to wait at least for another day or two for this to dry up. So I'm going to go get some paint. It's kind of cold up here. Out here, I can say, so I'm going to take the paint into the house. Down in the basement. Open up a window. And I'm going to spray it. Okay, so I'll bring you back once I finish doing that. Ah, uh, this, this is a bummer, but uh, it's something that I have to do that I wanted to get done. So, you know, this material looks thicker. It might just be me, but it looks thicker uh, than the one over there. So, I don't know. I'm, should I put it like this? What do you guys think? 
I don't know how it's not matching numbers. You know, so I don't have a matching engine, a matching transmission. You know, so I don't plan on doing any any matching. You know, I just want it to look all black, and if, you know, that's gonna look silly if you have it, you know, this color. I think, in my opinion. But you know, that's how they came from the factory. I don't know if they painted this color, but I know that I've seen it this color before. I know, but supposedly that's how they came from the factory. But I don't like the way it looks because I'm not looking. For, let me go ahead and take this grill off, and I still have to take it off regardless. And then I'll bring you back, okay? All right. So you can see right there, that's one screw. That screw holds this. I know it's hard to see, guys, but this fender, this bottom fender, so you're not driving around and it's wiggling all over the place. Let me zoom that in. Okay, there you go. That's a little better. And then you could see I'm gonna put a, nut, so a little bit more light for my drill. You could see. Okay, so you see those three screws right there. So you gotta take that screw out, right? The one that I showed you, which is that one right there. And you gotta take that one right there off, that one, and this piece right here, okay? And that'll loosen it up. So you gotta do it on both sides. And then you're set, okay? I'll bring you back right now when I do that. Okay. It looks tragic. <laughs> yeah, I basically took that piece off. That didn't come off because it's it was cracking right there. So as I previously told you guys, so what I have to do is I have to take these screws off right here. This screw off, that one, uh, this one, and the one that was here broke off. So I have to find another screw like this, and another washer, and another nut. So I have to uh, find that. I'm gonna, this one doesn't have one, that's weird. Well, anyways, okay, so I'm gonna bring you back. All right, it's completely off. I took the other pieces in my hand right here. This piece is uh, useful but at the same time they're not that expensive I forgot or actually I'm actually I don't really remember but that's repairable I know there's a there's a way you could put that back together okay so what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to take that piece like it okay I'm in the basement here and I just sprayed it I know it's hard to see but it's got I put a really light coat I let it dry I'll probably hit it a couple more times. It was here in the basement. And it looks pretty shiny. Not sure if you could tell, but it's got a nice shine to it. And let it uh, dry. Uh, I think it says like 15 minutes, but I'll, I'll let it dry at least for an hour. I put it on an angle. That's the same box that it came in. Uh, and I used it, you know, to, uh, you know, not to paint up the floor. But so far, so good. It looks decent once I let it dry for a couple days um, I will assemble it once again okay so I'm gonna let it dry hit it again maybe another two times and that should be enough for it to uh, you know adhere you know once it's nice and dry hopefully it's flexible I might have to do a little bit of tweaking for it to go back in I'll put the screws back in line up the bumper like it was previously put the headlight bezels on put the grill back on Alrighty, it's night time. Actually, it's dark time. It's maybe around 6:30. But you can see that's the last quote. It's out here. It's around I don't know 40 degrees, so it's not ideal. Um, I touched it in a spot right there uh, where you could see. Basically, you can't see it anymore because I went over it again with the paint. So I'm gonna leave it out here for a while. Let it uh, cool off enough that I could take it inside the house. Uh, tonight, once it this air hits a little bit, it's cold enough that it's not gonna dry, so I have to put it inside. But it looks pretty decent now, and that's gonna be the final coat for it. All right, I'm, I'm in the house, and basically I brought this from outside, and it started icing a little bit, so now I have to dry. You can see the spots. Hopefully, I'm able to take off that water. So here we go. I'll bring you back once I'm done. Okay. I don't know why I care so much, but the water ice that fell did do a little bit of a, a couple of spots like that. See that? And that just that's driving me crazy, man. So I'll see if it comes out. I don't think it is. It's just water, but this side is a little better. I caught it just before it started, you know, falling down. It's got a little bit of orange peel. You could tell that I it kind of wrinkled a little bit right there. 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait again. I'm gonna leave it here tonight. Uh, I did it with the you know with the dryer. I hit it a little bit, but it's still it's still a little wet. Uh, it's gonna come out okay. It's gonna come out nice. I won't care once it's on and the way it looks, but if it's nice tomorrow, I'm gonna hit it once more. I'm gonna hit it lightly to hopefully you know cover up those water spots that I had. Or maybe they might evaporate, which I doubt. They might. It still looks really nice. It's the kind of that's the black I was looking for. This is uh, semi gloss and, and it's for plastic. So yeah, I'm gonna leave it here and let it dry, and then tomorrow I will come back to it. And we'll go from there. Right, boys and girls, it's a nice surprise. I just received the metal piece. Just arrived today, so I'm gonna crack it open and see what we got. So remember to shake the can for a good uh, two minutes so it uh, sticks a lot better. Okay, so that's you gotta, you gotta shake the can at least for two minutes vigorously. Super windy today. Thank you for watching Big Tony's Customs and unfortunately I was not able to finish with the project because the snow came and pretty much it's going to be a video about how to take the front end off that Nova. That's about it and I hope you enjoy the funny gifts and see you guys till next time. Okay? Thank you so much for watching.